Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Um, today I'm taking a look at the Motorola Moto G. This is um, from Verizon Wireless. This is actually on their prepay service. So um, I'm going to take you on the phone, give you the specs, tell you what I like about it, don't like about it, and uh, run some tests and go from there. When I took it out of the box, it did come with Android 4.3 but was upgraded to 4.4.2 KitKat. It does have a 4.5 inch display with 1280 by 720 pixels at 329 ppi. It does have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. It has autofocus, touch to, touch to focus, burst mode, and you know, a bunch of different features. Your speaker back here on the back it does record at 720 at 30 frames per second. On the front, you got a 1.3 megapixel camera. It does have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor with 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of built in storage with only around 5.5 gigs of storage available to user and there is no expendable memory card slot so that's kind of a bad thing in my opinion the battery is also non-removable at 2070 milliamp hour and I'm unsure of the standby time or talk time at this, at this time it does it is running uh, on their 3G network it's not a 4G phone it does have a layer of Gorilla Glass 3 that protects the screen against light scratches. So it does have some neat things on it and it is you know, a pretty nice phone. Uh, on the front here, like I said, it's your, it's your camera. Right in between here, you got your light for, for your notifications. On the bottom, you got your micro USB charging port. On the side, your volume rocker, power button headset jack on top nothing on this side here on the back got your moto emblem and your flash camera and speaker pretty much it uh... It's pretty plain on the outside uh... does feel kind of rubbery on the back so it's kind of nice to feel nice in the hand uh... good call quality and it's just a good looking phone in general uh... It does have good reception as well as most motorola's do <clears throat> um... i do like this phone I'm not going to keep this phone because I was going to change change to Verizon um, after my service was up with Virgin Mobile but I decided to stay with the company and not change so I will be changing this phone for a new phone with Virgin Mobile so I, was, I wanted to go ahead and do a review before I returned it um, let's go ahead and uh, do a little walk through this phone is fast it really is with the quad core processor I mean this thing really has no lag to it whatsoever I've not had, I've not had any issues with this phone at all uh, it works really good the only thing about this phone that's different and it's kind of aggravating to me is the fact that you know that um, for one the touch screen is I mean the touch buttons is instead of being on, on the body it's on the screen so that does take up a little bit of room on the screen and but you got your back button, home button, and instead of being a menu button, it's this one is your recents button. Um, so you have to actually go in here, in here, and go over to settings to go into your settings mode, or like I did, just dragged it to the front screen there where I can just go into it automatically. But like I said, this is a really nice phone. One thing about it that I do not like is the fact that you cannot have expendable memory. It has no SD card slot whatsoever. So, you know, you only got five, around five to five point five gigs of, of uh, storage available. And if you got a, you know, a lot of music and you know a lot of stuff like and a lot of a lot of pictures and I mean, and when you look when you record in seven twenty and you're using a hundred, two hundred megabytes per minute to record a video you know then that's taking up a whole lot of storage so that's kind of a bad thing when they don't add uh, expendable memory on these phones uh, also the battery 
can't be removed and changed so that's another bad thing to me but this phone is because you can't change the battery and if it goes bad you know you, you got to take it in and get it fixed or whatever or have them change it and to me I would just prefer a phone where I could have extendable memory and a removable battery but it's like I said this is, this, this is a very snappy phone it has no lag to it whatsoever uh, playing games is a breeze um, it's just quick um, I'm going to go ahead and run a benchmark test on this phone, give you an idea of what it's running. This phone has very good call quality, um, sounds very good when you're on the phone. Um, reception, like with most Motorola phones, is very good as well. Uh, it feels really good in the hand, it don't creak, rattle, it's, it's just very smooth. Um, very nice phone, I mean... I believe that the, the screen is 4.5 inch, but, you know, with the buttons, the touch buttons being on the screen and the top bar being up there, I think it does kind of cut into your screen a little bit. So I don't, I don't think that you really get a true 4.5 inch display unless you're like playing games, stuff like that, or on apps where you're not, at, where these buttons are actually gone. But, <clears throat> you know... Everybody has different likes. This phone is coming in at 8,871. Pretty powerful phone. That's getting on up there pretty good. So, you know, at 8,871, 8, you know, you can tell it's a pretty speedy phone. It's not got any lag in it whatsoever. It does work well. I'm not going to spend much time on this phone because. I don't know much about this phone because I've not been using it a whole lot, just a little bit, just to you know, see how it works. And as you see, 8,871 on the benchmark test is pretty fast, and you know it's a really nice phone. The camera as well is also nice. Uh, I thought I had it. Yeah. Let me let me bring something over here. This is my Galaxy Victory. And as you see here, you know, you touch, take a picture, and you swipe over to view the picture, and back over to here. Now, I'm going to tell you, this thing has very little settings. Uh, swipe over here, you only have your HDR setting, your flash, this button right here will control focus and exposure you have to drag it around to where you want it to be clear and then take the picture your um, slow motion video your panorama this is your location button 16 by 9 is 5 megapixel take it off it goes down to a 3.8 megapixel this is your sound button there is no video video record settings at all. You always record in 720. You never record in nothing else but that. So this thing's got very, very limited, um, very limited on its um, settings. One thing I do that I do like about the camera is the fact that it has very fast bursts burst mode. You just take as many pictures as you want as long as you hold that button down so I mean that's neat to have as well uh, but you know not being able to change your resolution not being able to change white balance not being able to change anything and especially your resolution to be able to record in lower uh, resolutions is kind of a bad thing to me so to me I was anxious to get this phone but after I got it and started playing with it honestly to me I'm not crazy about the phone. I mean, it's a good phone. As you've seen, very fast speeds, very good reception, very good call quality. It has the newest version of Android. And it's really a customizable phone, and you're able to do a lot of things with it. But the lack of SD card slot, the lack of the battery being able to be changed, and the camera having very few features. Um, it's good in some ways because it's just fast to take a picture, be done. 
but not being able to change your camcorder resolution, not being able to have any kind of special effects on your camera, uh, it's kind of a, uh, to me, it's just kind of a, I don't, I don't like it, personally. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion. Um, like I said, I am fixing to return this phone and exchange it for something else. So, uh, anyway, I uh, hope it helps a little bit. This has been a look at the Moto, Moto, the Moto G. It is a nice phone, good battery life. Strong reception, good good voice quality, good call quality, all around good phone, good camera, good camcorder, nothing wrong with it, just got some things with it I don't like. Uh, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, subscribe to my channel, I sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, talk to you later.